First of all, I want to take the opportunity again and to thank uh, AFN, ANFA, Nepal Football Association, for uh, organizing this tournament. It's been a, it's been a pleasant time here. It's uh, coming to an end, and uh, I hope it comes to a good end for us. Um, we struggled in the first match, but I uh, have to take into consideration that the Lao players played uh, two days ago and travelled uh, uh, in the local league, come here. Uh, the, the time difference and the altitude. So um, the first game was already okay from my point of view. Um, hopefully we can play much better tomorrow against the home side. It will be a very interesting match. Uh, also with regards to the October window where both of our teams, Nepal as well as Laos, will play um, the World Cup qualifier playoff. And that will be good. Tomorrow is a final, and these games in October will also be finals. So uh, that will be a good test for our team, where nine players are younger than 23, and of these nine, uh, six are starting members, 18, 19 years old. So I'm very glad they made the next steps in the, in, on the man's side. Uh, we had problems in the, in the previous Suzuki Cup in December against Vietnam and Malaysia, got hammered badly. But that was a good experience for this tournament, so we showed ourselves better. And I'm looking forward to the match tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you, coach. So asking the same to the captain. Um, what do you expect in the final against Nepal? Pull that ahead, please. Okay. So I, uh, I want to say thank you, uh, everyone say thank you uh, to uh, because uh, they do uh, we come to meet again we play again uh, we excited uh, tomorrow we have the game with Nepal again I want to I want to say thank you again with uh, Francia many many Francia for, for the uh, support uh, Nepal and love team uh, we, now we we, we have uh, already because uh, we, we have training, we have time for the list and training with the post and I think better and and then we have a uh, young boy player, many many uh, power for the for the game. I think tomorrow big game for the uh, com competition. Yeah. Any questions to the coach or captain, please? Coach, uh, you've, you've lost against Nepal previously, but you were better in the pitch performance-wise. And Nepal struggled against Bhutan as well. What do you make of Nepal's uh, performance in this, these two games, and do you think you can get the result this time? Uh, we are always trying to get results, you know, as, as small as we might be or as a not yet so developed nation as, a, as we might be. I come to Laos one year ago and we changed many things. Uh, I think many things to the positive. Uh, we focus very much on young players, but uh, with experience to stabilize the team, very important. Um, Nepal is a good team. Nepal is a, is a team also who lost players, you know, so the coach is only here for a short period. You can see it in parts of the game, but you can also see the physicality at times. You can see they are strong, well organized, and uh, they have good leader players with experience already with age, you know. So, uh, of course, on home soil, they are the big favorite. But we want to try to make life, uh, life hard for them as much as possible. And uh, of course, I see I see good chances. We have uh, we are technically quite sound and find uh, good ideas in, in in the last third, which for long periods in last year we didn't. So uh, I'm positive we can quickly change things. We are quick, you know. This is uh, something I want to take uh, as our advantage. Nepal will be without two main players for tomorrow's match. Do you think that will be an advantage for you? They they are missing players. <laughs> Missing players? Yeah? Who, who do they miss? <laughs> uh, no, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, you know, at the end of the day, 11 players are there and uh, I'm not a fan of speculating. And uh, if you ask me, please don't ask me for my guess, for my bet for tomorrow, because I don't care, I don't speculate. The answer is always <coughs> on the pitch. There was a big German coach, maybe you remember his name, Otto Rehagel. He won the championship 2004 with Greece in the European Championship. And he said, the answer lies on the pitch. The answer will be given tomorrow on the pitch. And then after 90 minutes, we see the result. That is the answer. Tomorrow's match is not FIFA. It's just 
uh, on official trade. Do you think that matters? Uh, no, there is a bit of margin for risk to maybe change this whole line if it's not going to be because it doesn't matter with the rank FIFA ranking. No, it matters big time. For us, it matters big time. It's a it's a final. We we don't reach many finals, and we have a young team that needs to um, become stronger, and uh, that doesn't matter. Question to the captain: Does one confirmation that? Have ever Laos played any kinds of finals whatsoever? It's not a big tsunami before. If Laos was in a final before, I don't think so. Uh, not really. Not yeah, not as far as I can remember. Yeah. Maybe this may be an off your mask, but this is maybe the first final. Probably, yeah. So, coach, what does it mean to you if Laos wins this championship? What does it mean if we win? Yes. <coughs> um, I have to go back to last year. We had a AFF Asian Football Federation tournament in the Asian region with the under-19. And uh, sensationally, we beat all the teams on the way, like Timor, Cambodia, Singapore, Malaysia. We beat four games in a row. It never happened before. And then we played semi-final. We beat Thailand and then lost the final, unfortunately, against Malaysia. Very strong side. So it was like an earthquake in, in, in Laos. And uh, I don't expect this to be the same tomorrow, but if we win, it's uh, very positive for our development and hopefully people can support more, hopefully we can get more training camps, we can get more, more incentives and money for the players, because the players play for very small salaries, so uh, the players are at the end of the day the ones who bring, who bring the, the trophy home, if at all, yes, and then they deserve to be rewarded uh, accordingly. So it's a big thing for us, it's a big thing. Maybe for the international world, nobody cares so much, I know, but for us it's a big thing. Question to Captain. Uh, Captain, what kind of reaction have you been getting from your own home fans uh, after reaching the final? Um, the team? fans, the fans in yeah. Laos, the, the reaction, good, uh, or happy. Uh, or? Now, now uh, all people in Laos are very excited for uh, this map because uh, we pay away, but uh, many pressure for, for, for the player, but we, we, we want to win and take champion for, for the Lao people. Yeah.